Viltrumites stand out as the most formidable race in the Invincible Universe, wielding unparalleled strength, speed, and durability. Initially portrayed as ruthless galactic conquerors, their dominance was marked by the relentless eradication of any opposition. However, as the story unfolded, it became evident that the inherent brutality of Viltrumites was not intrinsic. Rather, it was the consequence of centuries steeped in ceaseless warfare and the influence of brutal leaders with an insatiable appetite for conquest. In today's video, we delve into a fascinating evolution within the Viltrumite culture and their unexpected settlement on Earth. Beyond the surface of their intimidating prowess, a nuanced story emerges, shedding light on the complexities of their history and the transformative journey that challenges their predisposition for conquest. In the aftermath of the Viltrumite War and the intense confrontation with Thrag, the formidable leader of the Viltrumite Empire, our heroes found themselves defeated and adrift in the vastness of space. Their salvation came from an unexpected source, the Coalition of Planets, now under the leadership of Alan the Alien following the death of Thetis in the fierce battle. During a pivotal conversation between Alan and Invincible, Tech Jacket emerged with crucial information. The Viltrumites had abruptly halted all their operations across the universe, abandoning the planets they had conquered. Alan, fearing a potential counterattack after the devastating battle, speculated on the Viltrumites regrouping. However, Invincible presented a different perspective. Recalling the destruction of the Viltrumite homeworld orchestrated by himself, his father Omni-Man and Thetis, Invincible noted that Thrag, despite his immense power, had spared them when he could have easily killed them. He proposed a chilling theory that Thrag sought revenge by targeting Earth, the home planet of Invincible. The Coalition swiftly made its way toward Earth to prevent its potential destruction. En route, Invincible was haunted by vivid visions of a full-scale Viltrumite invasion, depicting the grim demise of his friends and family. Upon arrival, however, Earth remained intact, bustling with life. A sigh of relief escaped Invincible, who, with a smile, shared the news with his father. Their moment of peace was shattered by the sudden appearance of Thrag, who declared that the Viltrumites were, indeed, on Earth. Despite Invincible's immediate attempt to attack, Thrag insisted on peaceful dialogue, revealing a shocking truth. The Viltrumite population had dwindled to a mere 37 survivors after the war. Contrary to expectations, Thrag, positioning himself as a competent ruler, asserted that seeking revenge was not his goal. He acknowledged the precarious state of his people and proposed an unexpected truce. Thrag's proposal entailed the Viltrumites settling on Earth, coexisting with humans in secrecy, a tactic already employed by some of his kind. He underscored the genetic similarities between humans and Viltrumites, envisioning the exploitation of these shared traits to rebuild the dwindling Viltrumite population. Invincible, visibly angered by the proposition, initially rejected the truce. Thrag, however, clarified that his intention was not the destruction of Earth, but rather the strategic establishment of a Viltrumite presence on the planet. This revelation stirred Invincible's apprehensions about the potential consequences. Thrag insisted that accepting the truce was a pragmatic choice. He argued that an immediate battle between Viltrumites on Earth would be catastrophic, emphasizing the devastating potential of such a conflict. Thrag suggested temporarily setting aside hostilities for the greater good, hinting at a postponed war. Despite Invincible's staunch resistance to the idea of Viltrumites cohabiting with humans and his aversion to Thrag's plans for rebuilding the Viltrumite army, a moment of revelation shook him. Confronted with a vision of a ravaged planet, Invincible reluctantly reconsidered his position. The stark possibility of widespread destruction compelled him to reluctantly accept Thrag's proposal, marking the unexpected and uneasy conclusion of the Viltrumite War. Meanwhile, with Alan the Alien at the helm of the Coalition of Planets, a renewed fear of another Viltrumite invasion prompted him to make a difficult decision. Sensing an opportune moment when the majority of Viltrumites were concentrated on Earth, Alan contemplated releasing a dangerous scourge virus on the planet, a storyline previously explored in one of our videos. However, in a surprising turn of events, the virus was not unleashed and the only individual who came in contact with it was invincible, resulting in a temporary loss of his powers. 
During Invincible's recovery, closely monitored by Thrag to prevent the spread of the virus, a shocking revelation unfolded. A scientist working for Thrag discovered that Invincible and, by extension, Omni-Man were the last living descendants of Argyll the Great, the true king of Viltrum. To safeguard this crucial information, Thrag swiftly silenced the scientist, keeping the revelation to himself. Thrag's ambitious plan to repopulate Earth with Viltrumites also encountered an unexpected hurdle when one of his most loyal soldiers, General Craig, defied explicit orders to remain hidden from human affairs. The Flaxen invasion prompted Craig's intervention, driven by the presence of his lover in London at the time. This challenge was not isolated to Craig, as other Viltrumites faced difficulties aligning with Thrag's directive. Anissa refused to procreate with humans altogether, while Lucan, citing past infidelity, hesitated to procreate with more than one human. In a confrontation with Thrag, Craig and Lucan revealed the emotional impact that living among humans had on the Viltrumites. Thrag, disgusted by this perspective, ordered them all to leave. Frustrated, Thrag turned his attention to the moon where Omni-Man and Debbie resided as Nolan is not allowed to return to Earth. Blaming Omni-Man for the complications and seeking to secure his title as Grand Regent, Thrag attacked Omni-Man. Amidst the chaos as their house crumbled, Omni-Man's first instinct was to ensure the safety of his wife, Debbie. Swiftly and decisively, he sent her to a secure location with oxygen, narrowly saving her from the impending destruction. Omni-Man then confronted Thrag, seeking an explanation for the sudden attack and reminding him of the truce they had previously agreed upon. Thrag, relentless and unwilling to listen, offered a brief history of Viltrum, highlighting the death of their king in battle. He revealed that it was believed Argyll's heir perished during the Scourge virus outbreak. But Thrag had unearthed the truth. Invincible and Omni-Man were the last surviving relatives of Argyll. Despite Omni-Man's assurance that he had no desire to lead Viltrum or usurp Thrag, Thrag continued his assault. In a dire moment, as Thrag prepared to deliver a fatal blow, other Viltrumites unexpectedly intervened. Having overheard the conversation, they realized Thrag's deception in concealing Omni-Man's true royal lineage. Together, they overpowered Thrag and, at Omni-Man's command, imprisoned him, ensuring his survival against the initial inclination for retribution. Later, adorned in a royal hide and officially recognized as the king, Omni-Man addressed the Viltrumites. In a transformative speech, he advocated for the benefits of residing on Earth among humans, emphasizing the potential for Viltrumites to explore and understand emotions they had been conditioned to suppress. Omni-Man declared his intent to reform Viltrum, steering it away from violent warfare and towards becoming a force of peace. The sentiment resonated with the Viltrumites, marking a significant shift in their culture and leadership. The dramatic transformation unfolded as Viltrumites, once brutal conquerors, embraced their new role as defenders of peace and order under Omni-Man's reign.